guys, what's going on? It's Contrabar13 here. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys a tutorial for No Limits 2. And, uh, sorry, I just had to check Discord real quick. But, I'm going to be doing a No Limits 2 tutorial. Kind of showing the basics of, like, maybe building your first coaster. Something like that. I might start a series. Not sure. Except, uh, we'll start out with this. So, I think I'm just going to build a wooden coaster because those tend to be the easiest because supports you don't actually have to build them you can just auto like the supports auto generate so we're gonna start a vertex normally I start uh, either left view or top view I think I'm gonna actually start left view so I want to start a little bit off the ground hopefully that's a good distance we can check in perspective where's that uh, that's a little bit too long and it's actually really high I don't know if I like that but uh, I'll just keep it that high whatever it's just a tutorial it doesn't need to be perfect so I think I'm just gonna have it turn out just do a nice turn and then I'm going to oh I forgot to do something real quick so first you're gonna want to build or place a vertex on each side just slightly in front and then you're gonna want to double click the two main vertexes of your station and click strict that will make it to where they don't move so like they won't just randomly start turning after you finish the rest of the track so I think that should be a good turn around right there I can depump it later, but I think we're gonna start the lift hill right here. So normally, here I'll just drag. I'll just drag this out to there, just for now, while I make this lift hill, because it's getting a little buggy. So let's make it go up to like maybe here. Seems all right, and then you want to. Put one on top and then start the hill going down. Click strict and strict down there. And that should be an alright lift hill. So, see how tall that is. It's going to be a pretty massive wooden roller coaster, but it should work alright. So, we start like here. This is going to be a giant wooden roller coaster and the lift is slightly curved but that that's fine nothing wrong with that so we're gonna make a drop right here just have it go start to slowly, slowly drop down I'm not making the drop too steep as it is a wooden coaster I'm not sure what type of wooden coaster I'm going for right now but I think I'm just gonna go for kind of like default out and back wooden roller coaster so I can get a nice airtime hill right off the bat. Yeah, that's gonna be a very drawn out coaster. Uh, more for like families and not the most thrilling thing. I think I'm gonna have a turnaround right here, so I'm gonna have it go up to there and then straight and I'm just gonna do a turnaround just do a short turnaround boom alright so now I go to right view come over to here and I'll just make it go down the exact same way So that'll kind of look cool because they're going in like unison. And then I'm going to actually go for a sort of double up element right here. I think that could be cool. So you go up once and then you go up again. So like you get tons of air time. Because as soon as you fly out of your seat the first time you fly out of your seat again. So that should be awesome. I'm going to drop it into a tunnel right here. Have it come up, do a nice airtime hill there. Maybe go for another tunnel. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have it come up. 
right there. Then I'm gonna have to make it somehow get back. Which is gonna be kind of difficult. I guess I can make it turn there, do a few airtime hills, and turn back. I'm just gonna make the exit of this right now. Okay, there we go. And then I'm going to have a turnaround right here so that got all wonky right there I don't know why that messed it up just a quick turnaround okay so now I'll just make it go right back down do the same thing I did with the other one another tunnel and I'll just finish it off right there just connect those two and it should be good that was very fast not very detailed when roller coaster um, should be a decent ride not sure how well it's going to be because I only spent like 10 minutes on it, or however long it's been so far, maybe even 5 minutes, maybe less. But uh, we're going to finish it off here, so I'm going to start adding the things that you need. So you're going to go into your track section, add type separator. I'm going to make a short brake run right there. Uh, section type, brake, and... I'm not going to get into block breaks and all that stuff just because this is just a tutorial. It's not going to actually be a real coaster, so I'm just going to put breaks there. I'm going to start adding some roll points. Just do no lat G, no lat G, no lat G. Normally you can go in depth with like what you want for your turns, except right now I'm just doing a sort of brief tutorial and I don't I don't need to create the uh, angles that the turns will be at you can kind of just do whatever looks fine so I'll make it go straight down in here it's not a very steep ride most of the hills are just uh, not very steep uh oh I should have che checked the speed because this how you tell this how you tell if the speed is too slow or too fast it shows the speed comb right there so about how fast it'll be going and as you can see it will unfortunately not make it up that hill over there so I'm gonna have to fix that over here is very slow too I'm not sure if I want that I might change it just get very light bank I'll test it out in a little bit to see how it rides. Hopefully it's not too bad. Except I'm definitely going to need to lower this. So I think I'm just going to lower it like this. Not actually lower it in one of the views. I think I'm just going to lower it in perspective mode. Because it doesn't really need to be lowered that much. I'll just lower it to exactly what that is. So now does it make it up? It actually still doesn't. Okay, so I'll just make it go like that. And then go left view. Wait. Alright, so right view got that there. Bring those down. Okay, so now it's going to barely make it up, which is fine. Normally you'd want it to go faster up it, except it should be alright for this particular coaster. I think that's alright for it. Um, not really too sure if that's good. Uh, uh, by the way guys, sorry if this tutorial isn't very good. I'm not good at doing these types of videos. If you guys want a really great tutorial, who I've used a lot of his tutorials to make my coasters. It's the Code Master. He's got awesome videos. You guys will definitely like them. If you like 
No Limits 2 and that sort of content. I think I'm going to actually have to steepen the height a little bit real quick. No. Yeah, I'm going to have to steepen it like that because it didn't make it up to the break run. And I can't make that shorter because the break run and station are already predetermined. Like, I already determined at the start where they're at. I'm not just going to lower the whole rod. Uh, this should be a good drop. Don't really need roll points there. I guess I'll just place normal ones to make sure that's straight. I don't really know how, m how many you need to place. I kind of just guess. I'm going to just place them everywhere. Because it doesn't hurt to place them. It doesn't hurt. So I've already made a small banking up there. Got the best element of the ride, which is the double up. Right there, that should be a decent airtime moment. This ride actually, if it was in real life, would not be a bad family ride. It's got decent airtime, and it just it's not too bad. Uh, so I don't need catwalks. So what I'm gonna do? A tunnel. I guess I'll go wooden tunnel just to match the wooden coaster. So add type separator, add type separator. Now, I'm not going to get into like scenery or any of that during this video. If you guys enjoy this video, I will be sure to do more Nolan's 2 tutorials where I'll get into scenery, um, different types of roller coasters, launch coasters, uh, inverted coasters, flying coasters, four dimensional coasters, pretty much any of those types. And, uh, yeah, this video should be coming into a close, I guess. I don't know what I'm saying here, but, uh, sorry, this isn't the best coaster ever. I just didn't want to put that much time into it. I just wanted to get a short tutorial and kind of show the basics. Uh, I guess I'll add some supports and everything. And give it a ride. I'll depump it also. This is the most useful thing in No Limits 2. The depump. It is so helpful. It can make a not smooth ride become extremely smooth. Very fast. All you have to do is just highlight the vertices that you want and then depump it. So depump that. Depump that. You don't want to depump the whole thing at once just because it takes a while. I'd rather depump small parts. And it does a worse job, in my opinion, when you depump the whole coaster at one time. But as you can see, it's just going to smooth out the entire coaster that I'm depumping. I might have to not do this for the double up, though, because sometimes it will actually just get rid of elements. Yeah, I'll see if it does that for this. Depump. It's going to take a second because I highlighted the stuff behind it on accident. At least it'll make that a little bit more smooth also. So depump it. It actually didn't get rid of the double up. It's still there. It's a little less whippy, I guess you could say. And it doesn't really get much air time, so I'm actually going to... Bring it up a little bit to get some more airtime. I mean, you're not getting much airtime here, just a tiny bit, but at least you're getting negative G's. Okay, so you get a little bit of negative G's there, and then you get actually hardly any negative G's there. But you, you get little bits of airtime on this ride. This isn't going to be a massive airtime roller coaster it's just, just going to be a sort of family wooden coaster and normally I would make it to where you actually get airtime on the ride so the G forces are going crazy like on the last roller coaster I uploaded which was the chasing I think I called it uh that has tons of insane G's and that's just because it is a 
It's been blitz coaster. And blitz coasters tend to have very high amounts of G's, very rapid fire turns, fast launches, it's just it's meant to be an intense ride. Well this is more of a family roller coaster. That last roller coaster was definitely not a family roller coaster. No way. But I guess I'm going to add the chain lift. This actually did not end out well at all because it's going to be tough to make it around. This thing right here to make it actually to the chain lift. I'll just, so you go into type settings for the chain lift and I'll make the transport device go for maybe 15 kilometers acceleration at 3 or 2 G's, I don't know just so it can accelerate kind of faster around this turn here and actually make it to the chain lift get a little bit of banking on there just enough to where it won't feel unbanked and the chain lift will start right here so section type lift type settings we'll go 15 kilometers just so it's not too slow actually 0.5 G's is fine but I just didn't want it to be too slow whenever we're watching it and we're going to style settings left right left right and just add the catwalks on and then I'll add the catwalks there Then I'm going to go into Coaster Properties, Wood Coaster Tutorial. We'll make it. Not sure. I don't really like that wooden coasters trains. I'll just go with this type. And then I'm going to actually. I'll be right back with this video, especially to the sense this just a tutorial. It should be depumped enough to where it's actually rideable where you're not just cringing the entire ride. Alright, it should be fine. Um, so coaster, coaster properties, wood coaster, we got that select, we'll go. I'm not going to do Heartline because Heartline is for most steel coasters like that uh, Intimate Blitz coaster, that's a Heartline. I'll add a few trains. Colors now. The wireframe track actually doesn't matter. Just go that color, that color. It doesn't really matter. Get a little darker color. The car I'll just do black, black, and then white, and maybe a red harness. Yeah, I'll go for that. And then support that tunnel will be little lighter handrails that catwalks that should be good so support supports panel didn't mean to go to that prefab panel no nope, not prefab panel I don't know what I'm doing wind generator generate final we'll do cathedral actually it looks pretty beast though as a cathedral I think I'm going to try a different type because the cathedral just looks too too huge for this type of coaster. That looks too huge too though. I think this should be the right one for this coaster. Um, Actually, I, I like the cathedral. I mean, normally simple doesn't look that great, but I guess we can try it. You know what? Whatever. Let's just do simple. Simple honestly looks the most fitting for this coaster. So we're going to click freeze, wait for it to load.
So here we go. Looks pretty good. We'll go file save, file leave editor, play. Alright, so right now you pull out of the station. Hopefully this makes it there. It should make it because I put it on 15 kilometers. Well, that's a mistake right there. So, file open recent. Well, that didn't work. <laughs> Trial and error. Though. That's what you got to do with no limits. Uh, if you want to be able to build coasters much faster and much more efficiently, it's just through trial and error. I know personally that I'm the best at building steel coasters, which is why I build those most of the time. You know, whatever. Just for tutorial purpose, I'll just make it kind of a curving lift to start. Normally, you wouldn't want that, especially on a wooden roller coaster. Yeah, but I know I'm normally the best at doing inversions, steel coasters, flying coasters, launch coasters I like to make. Um, I normally don't like wooden roller coasters. RMCs are kind of fun to make, though. So this should make it this time because we do have the curving chain lift. Actually, that chain lift doesn't look... Alright, it's good. I'm just going to speed it up here. So it's got a pretty big drop actually, and it's actually really steep. This is definitely not a family coaster. You get some air time there, come up a nice slow turn, and you get another drop. This coaster is completely unrealistic, No, nobody would get a coaster that is this short and like a coaster that isn't very long yet takes up a ton of space the reason this is so huge is because I started kinda high up that's why it's got such big drops and everything because it would be way longer if this was a low station I made the station way too high completely unrealistic but hope you guys enjoy this video actually Real quick, I'm going to show you guys what I've been working on. Just to give you a sneak peek of what is the next coaster coming. It's actually a launched Mac roller coaster that does some terrain work. It's pretty cool so far, I think. You start out, here, I'll just go track view. So you start out, the station, you go down this, between the hills come up and here's the launch this launch is pretty fast I think it goes like 70 or something let me check also if you double click it it pulls up speed 120 kilometers an hour I think that's like 60 or 70 miles per hour but I did the inversion kinda like the Hollywood Rick Bride rocket where you go for a loop but you don't actually go upside down so I thought this would be interesting because I was just going to do an Immelman at the top here except eh, that's a little bit too too simple I think this would be interesting it get people to ride it you get a weird sensation also when you're on that because you kind of almost get air time at the top but you'd also get hang time because you get hang time coming up here then you'd almost get air time when you drop down so then there's a nice overbank curve come down into this kind of rapid fire turn airtime hill there come up some more turns these would be going very fast in the real version there's a nice heart line roll you turn around this hill and come in for the second launch which I think is actually slower except because you already have speed going into it, it makes you go faster. This is going to be awesome when when I perfect it, I think. I think this is gonna be the best part of the ride because oh, I messed up. I don't I don't wanna go all the way back here. So I'll just show it from this view. 
you get that launch and you just rock it up and turn under yourself. I think that's going to be an awesome part of the ride. And I think that could be the best part. So you come up sort of like a, I don't even know what element that's called, but it's cool. You drop down beneath yourself. That's a quick turn. And you come up, there's going to be an Immelman here. And I guess the rest, you guys will just have to find out when the video comes out. So uh, yeah, this will be it. Peace from Contra Bar 13. Set my heart afire.